Hey guys, this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading. Uh, this was on my mind to do all day, so hope you guys are doing well. I will get into the masculine as well, but as you guys know, I usually tap a lot into the Divine Feminine, okay? So uh, we're just going to see what's going on. I feel like it's been, you know, a lot of shadow stuff coming up lately. Let me know if that resonates for you guys, okay? I'm just lighting some Palo Santo, so just imagine breathing it in and getting all that cleansing energy, okay? All right, so I'm gonna use the Dark Mansion Tarot because um, I am I have been tapping into a lot of shadow energy lately. A lot of uh, wounds from the past can be coming up, um, situations also where you feel like you're maybe not in true alignment with yourself or, things are coming up and you're like not trusting your intuition and then you realize you're not acting in alignment and then just things come up but um we're gonna tap into that and see okay so <clears throat> we'll also tap into the masculine actually which is the masculine energy is the sun we'll see what's going on with both parties all right so i'm gonna kind of say this is a masculine and feminine reading all right and because sometimes knowing where the masculine's at also helps to know why we're at where we're at we, we keep getting the masculine energy we had the emperor and the sun six of pentacles we will get some communication from the masculine and i'll probably do an extended here on my patreon okay so um now your masculine doesn't have to be a man guys it could be whoever you deem as like your twin flame okay all right so where's the feminine at right now what's going on with the feminine here um, too many cards. What is going on with the feminine? Strength. Okay, your strength is being tested, guys. That is what is going on. I love that this came out. We already had the sun come out. Now we have strength. This is Leo energy. This is like your resilience. So if things seem challenging right now, if things seem like up against you, if things seem painful, if things seem to be triggering you, guess what, guys? That means you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're building your reserve and you're being tested by the universe. And I know you guys probably feel like you're always being tested, but this is the time to really kind of be using all the things you've been learning over the years, okay? This is Leo energy. Let's see where the masculine's at. Nine of swords reversed, okay? Five of Pentacles reversed, and these are all reversed. So you know what? I'm going to take them upright because when they're all reversed, King of Swords. Okay, so this is interesting. Abandonment, anxiety. Okay, so you guys also might be feeling what they're feeling. Um, if you guys have been feeling kind of almost like haunted by losses or abandonment, like you're not having nightmares or you're just thinking about a lot in your waking life, it's because your masculine is being... I feel the feminine is experiencing that with other things while the masculine is feeling that in regards to the feminine okay so i feel like in the strength card and this whole thing the masculine has felt very overpowered by the feminine's energy like energetically but also like there's a battle here okay and i feel the masculine their tactic is always being very stoic not letting you in on what's really going on with them now, when I say masculine, this could also be whoever you're dealing with, okay? So this person is like in a king of swords energy. They're not emotionally open. And it could be because of all the things they've endured, the pain that they're afraid to face, okay? In a way, you guys are stronger than your counterparts here, okay? So I wanted to use the decks from Aqua Moonlight, Untold Truths of the Heart, and Untold Truths, I mean... Untold messages of the heart and untold truths of the heart. Okay, so let's see. What is the person that you're thinking of, your masculine or this person? What what do they want to communicate to you right now? What's like their main energy here? My throat has been actually kind of hurting. I've been going through a lot of physical symptoms this week. Love, my heart is opening and I'm ready. Wow, but that's so different than the King of Swords energy. That's complete opposite. So maybe you remember them as being very King of Swords. That is intense, guys. And then I just said, I miss you, memory. Oh, 
baggage. I'm sweeping away toxicity to make room for what's truly important. Okay, so I think when they think about the feminine, they're kind of like, they they have a memory of maybe things kind of being toxic and they want to open their heart, but they're afraid because it was not good in the past. Like, I mean, it was it had good moments, but there were toxic things that happened, okay? And that's what I've been saying with the shadow energy coming up. Let's see the untold truths of the heart, the energy between you guys. These just two fell on the floor. <clears throat> elusive intangible dishonest tricky and beauty charming graceful luxurious i feel the only way they felt they could control you or the vulnerability they felt because they were very captivated by your beauty they felt almost overpowered and the only way they can take the control back is by being mysterious by not letting all their cards show it's like a way of control and control guys is such a big dynamic in the counterpart situation, but just as you grow in your spiritual journey, you realize how much everyone is just trying to control to avoid vulnerability here, okay? Tension, turbulence, argument, stress. You see, and we have baggage. So there's some, there's a lot of avoidance because I feel the masculine feels like there's just always this, but that what they don't realize is a lot of this, let's get one more, longing. Look at that, we have memory and we have longing. A lot of this has to do with, um, it says aching, pining, past love. You see, a lot of this has to do with their own um, inability to be honest. Okay. So there's some heavy energies here. There's anxiety, there's sadness, there's grief. And then there's also this controlling energy. That's how I see King of Swords. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have Leo come up. Let's get some more shadow energies from the Celestial Forecast Shadows and Secrets deck. There's actually a Shadows deck from Rising Sun Oracle that I really wanted to use for this. And I could not find it because I did kind of like a spring cleaning here. So, um, all right. So we have the Professor. Ooh, we had love and now we have the Professor. So I feel like someone might be professing their love, okay? Uses their intellect as a manipulative weapon to make you feel inferior. You see, guys, uneducated or stupid treats you like a child, lacks the ability to use their smarts in love and romance foot and mouth syndrome. That's, yeah, I, this is that, like, that ego trip thing that they're on, okay? The romantic will sweep you off your feet. But you see, this is the second time we're getting love. So I feel like there is love here, but they use these things to like, these are old ways of coping with, um, I'm getting more into the masculine reading when I actually wanted to do the feminine. And then we have the habitual liar. This is the second time, oh, this is DF. A divine feminine who is dishonest, shady, repeatedly lies to you, struggles, okay. Um, so this could be something where you guys haven't been honest with yourselves or with them. This could also be maybe if you are a feminine watching or you have a fem like this is divine feminine, but it also could be like, say you're a lesbian and your, your counterpart is another woman. Woman. Okay. So maybe you're both divine feminines, but usually there's like a divine masculine energy there. Okay. I'm going to use this deck. It's the love Oracle from, um, elementally. She has a TikTok here, and um, she hasn't really sold her deck, but I asked her for it because I really liked it. Okay, so what what else is coming up here? Something isn't right, okay? So that's the way it's like you guys had this connection, but there was always something off. There was always something like not sitting right with both of you, meant for great love, Okay. So maybe you are settling in the past in some way here. Intuition is usually right. You see, guys, and that's also what I was saying. You're not trusting. Trust each other. I just said you're not trusting, um, but I, this came up, okay? So trust. All right, um, you guys, I am going to move on to Patreon. If you guys want to move on over there with me, um, you do have to be a member. It's 5 or $10. I haven't really been separating who gets what, so it's just based on what you want to donate. Um, I'll put the link down below. 
and we'll just get a little more into this, okay? All right, thank you guys for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.